next news. Now here's your host, Anna Brooksford. Good afternoon. I'm Anna Brooksford with your nightly interview. I am in Professor Liz Wolf's library in Maine. She is a geneticist. Hello, Professor Wolf. Hello. What is a geneticist? A geneticist is someone who studies heredity. What is heredity? Heredity is the passing down of traits from generation to generation. Who was the first person to actually study heredity? Actually, Gregor Mendel was the first person to study heredity. He spent eight years studying pea plants. What is the difference between dominant traits and recessive traits? Dominant traits are more common than recessive, and dominant traits hide or mask a recessive trait. The recessive trait is still there, it just doesn't show physically. When people talk about heredity, I hear DNA a lot. What is DNA? DNA determines your inherited traits, like your eye color, your hairstyle and color, and possibly parts of your height, weight, and personality. And genes are little strips of your DNA that are like instructions for your inherited traits. A lot of people are wondering, what does DNA stand for? DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Thank you. Now, are you okay with a few more questions? Of course, that's fine. Great. Now, how is DNA arranged? DNA is arranged in a shape called a double helix. The double helix is inside a chromosome, which is like an outline of a double helix. And the DNA arranges itself together with other chemicals. The four chemicals that can pair up together are cytosine, guanine, adenine, and thymine. What is the most important DNA project ever? Mapping of human genomes was very important because now scientists can find out why people get cancer, Alzheimer's, and most multiple sclerosis. What is a genome? A genome is a human's entire DNA. Thank you so much, Professor Wolf. You're welcome. That's all for Channel 9, Fox Genetics News. I'm Anna Brooksford. Thank you. Thanks to 5th grade science book A Closer Look and Heredity.com.